So this is a tip for a inexpensive trouble light. Now this is a standard 120 volt trouble light that I've installed a automotive headlight into to make it into a 12 volt trouble light. So with a headlight bulb you can either purchase or I have a number of these burnt out headlights these 9004 headlights the low beam would always burn out for me so the head the high beam is still functional so that's what you see illuminating right there is the, the high beam so all you need is the bulb a socket for the bulb and then two alligator clips and then you power it off a car battery and if you're working on a car where are you going to find a car battery of course you have one and uh, so when the power's out you can also power this trouble light with your car so it's it's really convenient when you're working on your car to be able to power a light off the car battery of the car the first step of the project is to cut off the 120 volt plug then strip back about Eight inches of wire cut off the ground wire add some heat shrink tubing to clean up the end of the insulated portion of the wire and then install the two alligator clips so these are crimp on but I've soldered my wire onto the end of the alligator clip and then it also crimps on to the insulation you can see that the trouble light that I've selected this metal shield just screws on and clamps right here so it clamps on to the the headlight bulb and it's a split housing so it just has two screws and then this clamp that holds the body together So you can see my lights well used. I'm going to blow it out with a little air before I show it to you. So here's the conventional wire coming in that I've spliced into. You see my splice and I've added a, a socket, a headlight socket pigtail right here and then it, it gets sandwiched into the housing so I don't reuse any of the the switches or anything like that and that's all there is to it well I hope you found that video helpful if you did, uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.